Hello, in this video I will explain some basic concepts of robotic systems such as joints and links. The aims of the presentation are, on the one hand, to formally define the joints and links of an articulated system. In addition to this, I will explain the concepts associated with such systems such as the degree of freedom and the degree of mobility. Later, I will explain the most common joint types in robotic systems and analyze the main characteristics, in particular the ones with ready with prismatic and revolute joints. A link is generally a movable rigid element within an articulated structure or robot. We can associate a reference frame to a link so that each element of the link can be expressed relative to its reference frame. On the other hand, a joint is the element that connects to links. Joints can be actuated but they can also be free movement or their movement can be induced by the movement of other joints. In addition to this, joints constrain the movement of links in one or more directions. The amount of directions that they allow, they are also called degrees of freedom of the joint. So we know that unconstrained motion of a rigid body uses Three, in, in three space uses three position variables and three independent orientation variables. And there are two concepts uh, that they are widely used in robotics that are the degrees of freedom and degrees of mobility of an articulated system. The degrees of freedom are the numbers of position and orientation variables that define the motion of an articulated system. While on the other hand, the degrees of mobility are the number of elements that can move independently usually referred as the amount of robots of a robotic system. So, now let's, let's analyze the mobility of an articulated robotic system. This will depend on the number of links, L, including, or including the fixed link, as well as the number of joints, J, and the degrees of freedom for each joint, denoted here as Fi, if you can see the mobility formula shown there. In the case of a coplanar motion, the mobility formula is limited to a maximum of 3 degrees of freedom per link. Here, we can also see two simple uh, cases of an articulated system. In the first case, the total number of links, including uh, the fixed one, is 8, as indicated with the numbers in the figure. On the other hand, the total number of joints is 7, each with a single degree of freedom. Therefore, the mobility of this robot arm is 7, if we use the mobility formula. On the other hand, in the 4-bar mechanism below, the number of links is 4, as well as the number of joints, and each of them has only one degree of freedom, so the mobility for this uh, articulated system is 1. So this leads to me to introduce what are the most common joint types that we can find in robotic systems, and as you can see, we have the ball joint or the spherical joint that allows three degrees of freedom, all of them defining the relative orientation between two links. Also, we have a planar joint that allows two degrees of freedom, both related with the position variables uh, that you can see that it's moving on a plane. Then we have the cylindrical joint that also has two degrees of freedom, but in this case, one allows the changes in the position of the given axis and the other one the orientation on that axis. On the other hand, we have joints that only have one single degree of freedom. This is the case of prismatic and revolute joints. In fact, these are the most common types of joints that we will see in many of robotic systems. I also would like to mention that the cardan joint allows one degree of freedom. This is a special type of joint that is used in universal joints. By using two of them, we have that the universal joint has two degrees of freedom that allow us to transfer the motion from one axis to another axis in a different direction. So as I mentioned before, the prismatic and revolute joints are among are the ones that are widely used or the most widely used uh, joints in robotics. In this table I show the most relevant characteristics of each of them. Revolute joints are in fact the, the most used partially because they are cheaper, lighter, and they allow up to 6 degrees of freedom, and are used in the vast majority of industrial robots. The prismatic joints are those used in Cartesian robots, and the main advantage is that their inverse kinematic is much simpler, but it only allows controlling 3 degrees of freedom 
related to the position of the rod. Prismatic joints are usually denoted with the letter P, while revolute joints are usually denoted with the letter R. In this video, I have explained some basic concepts of robotic systems such as joints and links. I have also introduced frequently used concepts such as degrees of freedom and degrees of mobility and presented the different types of joints. Thank you very much.